Die Hard is the best cop movie of all time. One cop heroically saving the day while everyone else stands around and watches. It's the story of my life. Welcome to the party, pal! I love that movie. It's Die Hard. Any last words? Just don't shoot me in the face. I got a date tonight. I don't want to puff up. I'm already 10 pounds heavier than the picture she saw. OK. Uh, just to clarify, those are your last words? Because I'm about to shoot you now! What? No! <laughs> Gun tape to the back. All these Die Hard references gave me the idea. I got John McClane. Oh. 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 Hit the kayak of the buckets. Boyle, you did it. And you completely botched the catchphrase. I'm pretty sure it was right. No, but you did great. <clears throat> See you in hell, kiddo. What? <laughs> Yay! Bars, bars, bars! Oh, are there bars on the window? Yeah, there are bars on the window. I'm going to count to three. There will not be a four. OK, fine. He was here this morning, but I didn't buy anything. Here, I left this number in case I change my mind. Uh, thank you. There you go, Lieutenant. There will not be a four. Die Hard. Nice. You like Die Hard? Best movie ever. Best franchise ever. A Nakatomi Plaza cake? The groom is on a licorice hose. Welcome to the wedding, pal. Oh, Amy, these nups may be getting too toyed. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. It's an empty floor that's under construction. Just like in the movie. Charles, <gasps> this is the floor that John McClane ran on with his bare feet. Take my picture with it. <laughs> This is the window where John McClane said, welcome to the party, pal. Take my picture with it. This is the event where John McClane said, come out to the ghost. We get together, have a few laughs, take my picture with it. This is the space where, even though it's not really evident in the dialogue, you can tell John McClane realizes he should have been a better husband to Holly Gennaro. Take my picture with it. 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 But then he unclasps the watch and Hans falls. That's a good one. 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 OK, all 600 of these are great. We should probably head to the airport. Whoa. Is that Mr. McClane I hear? Because someone's about to die. Huh? Oh, my god! Why is Captain Old here? Because he's going to... Wait, are you dressed like Bonnie Bedelia and Die Hard? I am. For sexy reasons? Yes. Oh, boy. Oh, Jake, he's got your face. Charles, meet Mac. Short for McLean. I said, Shirley, I love it. I think I said some joke about being a washed up pencil pusher. Now do the robot voice. Which? The robot voice you were doing when you implied I'm a rule-following robot. I want to hear it again. Meet more sharp robot. That's a terrible robot voice. Yep. Do you know how much stress I've been under lately? My husband says he hasn't seen me smile in weeks. How much did you smile before that? Constantly. Yes, it is daunting. But I did some research on amicable breakups. I visited www.ladiesgoodhealthmag.com backslash sex hyphen relationships backslash 8675999904 backslash 9432%20.html. Do you know that site? Yeah. Oh, you mean the party that you begrudgingly invited us to at the last minute because you don't want us there? I couldn't be happier you're coming. And it shows. Meet more. See. <clears throat> Dismissed. Are you familiar with the story of Moneyball? A man uses statistics and logic to win several baseball games. It's my favorite film. The statistical analysis. It's so beautiful. I am good at emotion. I've been craving Sudanese all day. I'll print out some menus. Ouch. You ran over my foot. I am in incredible pain. All this sneaking around is exhilarating. I can feel the adrenaline coursing through my body. Coursing. It's like Scratch City. How about you? I'm fine, except I was impaled on a metal pipe. Oh, my god! I wasn't expecting you to get this emotional. <laughs> it's not bad for an old robot, huh? Yeet more. See? <laughs> Two bottles of vodka. Is this going to be the weekend we finally meet Six Drink Amy? Six Drink Amy? What does that mean? It's the pinnacle of the Santiago drunkenness scale. One drink, Amy's a little <laughs> spacey. Wait, what? Two drinks, loud Amy. You wanna get a cab? Three drinks, Amy dance pants. Four drink, Amy is a bit of a pervert. Hey, check it out. 
And five drink Amy is weirdly confident. Let's do this, little man. But I've never seen six drink Amy. Maybe she's the one I could actually be friends with, AKA my Sasquatch. The Buffalo PD always throws an insane party. Last year, Amy got so drunk, she jumped a police horse into the pool. Eight drink Amy is an equestrian, and she's real bad at it. Woo, creme hope. We're losing. Yeah. Why are you dancing? Oh, I was up to nine drink Amy, who speaks French. And then I heard. A hurl, hurl. What she's trying to say is that she vomited, and now she's back down to three drink Amy or Amy dance pants. You know it. I have an idea. Oh, I bet it's great. OK, you know how guys like O'Sullivan, they think we all look the same, right? So you dress as Amy, you take my place, and oh my god, is nine drink Amy a genius? That's never going to work. You just need to sober up and get back out there. Oh, you're on the floor. And what does the Ebony Falcon do? Takes every precaution to ensure his own safety. <sighs> takes bad guys to jail and bad girls to bed. Hell yeah, he does. Except now the Ebony Falcon is monogamous and too tired for sex, so his only indulgence is fresh fruit yogurt parfaits. Terry loves yogurt. I'll get right to it. Thanks. Trevor, let's go. Have a good one. Well, we don't have to worry about Podolsky's son anymore. The case is officially out of my hands. No charges filed. Why is there yogurt on this? The deputy commissioner threw my report in Terry's trash can, and he'd been eating yogurt earlier. Terry loves yogurt. Damn it, Boyle! You left the fridge open. The door couldn't shut because of your empty pizza box. Pizza, please. This is a butternut squash and truffle butter flatbread. Everything's spoiled. My lunch is ruined. My chicken, my potatoes, my pasta, my meatballs, ham. My yogurt. Oh, it's a lot of yogurt. I love yogurt. God, I hate how hard it is to guess other people's passwords. Wait, everyone wait. Try yogurt. We're in. Yeah! yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Terry loves yogurt. Ah, those are door ants. They're using a monitor cable as a land bridge. Now they're destroying our technology. This is an invasion. They're in my yogurt. Now it's personal. I get Greek yogurt, because there's heritage there. But Iceland? No, 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 So I went through your feed to see what you were posting. A lot of pictures of your kids. Nobody cares. And then I found this picture you posted last week. Living that hashtag yogurt life. <laughs> <laughs> embarrassing. But what's even more embarrassing, Terry, is that the arrest numbers are in the photo, clear as day. Oh, my god. What did he give you? He gave me the ability to continue to serve this community unencumbered by unnecessary oversight. Now, I really have to... What did he give you? He gave me a yogurt fridge, all right? I asked for a yogurt fridge and I got one right next to my desk. I'm only a man. I'm sending this letter with or without your signature. Enjoy your blood yogurt. I will. <laughs> Captain, why are you giggling? I put a GPS tracker inside of Terry. Sarge, Kevin purchased one too many full-fat French yogurts. You want it? Absolutely. Enjoy, Jeffords. Enjoy. Devious. I know, but... I also put a tracker in Terry's yogurt. Same here. No reason. Just because you're a great sergeant. <laughs> now suck it down. Yeah, no problem. Take it. Swallow the gert. Do you guys think all that radiation is bad for him? I'm sure he'll be fine. He's lived a long life already. Yeah. I did something really stupid. I need your help. You know how I'm kind of a sexy bad boy who rides motorcycles into work and is always breaking the rules in the name of justice? I don't like where this is going. Well, I also maybe sometimes bring home case files to work on them after hours, and I might not be that great about returning them. Oh, God. Are you aroused because of what a bad boy I am? No. No. You could be suspended for that. He could think you're the mole. Sure, not so loud. Yes, Amy, I do drink from the bowl. Definitely pulled that off. Look, I need to get those files. Can you please give me a ride? Fine. I'll get my stuff. But this better not bite me in the ass. Better not bite me in the ass, name of your sex tape. But seriously, thank you so much for your help. Yeek. Blast of cold air coming out of that box. Name of Amy's sex tape. Hey, man, come on, not cool. I'm going through something. Just let me have this one. We'll crack it. I'm gonna go grab some coffee. Great. Mm. Hey, uh, now that it's just us, there's a thing I wanted to say, uh, does uh, you? 
Why doesn't your mouth work? Why doesn't your mouth work? Title of our sex tape. What? Your sex tape. What? No. I'm so confused. I don't know what's happening right now. I'm so confused. I don't know what's happening right now. Title of your sex tape. Oh my god, I'm shaking. I'm definitely gonna cry. Title of your sex tape. Is this about the tickets? It is indeed about said tickets, and said proclamation about said tickets is in fact. Jake, just tell us. No one is liking this. I'm loving it. You sound so smart. Oh, thank you, my loyal subject, Charles. Now, as you know, this decision has been quite hard upon me. Title of mine, sex tape. So I guess it's fair to say, case open. My God, I have goose flesh. So now I'd like to move on to a real suspect. I want to see Detective Diaz in the box. <gasps> Don't gas for him. What are you doing? I'm sorry, he just slipped out. Title of your sex tape. What? Yes, obviously. It's the title of the sex tape. Everyone's taking my stuff. 